Hey cuties, so in today's role-playing video, I went from being poor to being a princess. I've been missing you a lot lately, girly. I feel like with you working all those jobs, the only time I get to see you is when we walk to school. I know, Skye, it's been crazy, but you know how it is now. I've got to help out at home. I get it, but I miss our adventures. Remember last summer? We were inseparable. How could I forget? That was the best summer ever. But things change, I guess. Since my dad left and my mom got laid off, I have responsibilities now. Responsibility is overrated. You need fun in your life. You're only young once. Believe me, I'd rather be planning pranks with you than working double shifts, but my family really needs me. I admire you, girly. And who knows? Maybe all this hard work will lead to something amazing, like a fairy tale ending, you know? Exactly. Now, tell me about your latest job. Any cute co-workers? Sky, it's not about cute co-workers. It's about survival. But for the record, no. It's just me with a bunch of dusty shelves. Well, if anyone can make dusty shelves sound exciting, then it's you. <laughs> Thanks, girly. Anyways, I'll see you at lunch. Of course. Have fun in stinky history. Have fun in stinky math. <laughs> Three hours later. <sighs> a break. It's nice to just sit and not think about school or work for a while. Yeah, but uh, don't look now, but Ashley and Ayla are headed this way. Well, 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 if it isn't Mackenzie and her little sidekick. What's with the look, Mackenzie? Decided to embrace the poor and ugly chic fully now? I didn't think it was possible, but you look even more miserable than usual. What's the matter? Couldn't afford a mirror? Hey, leave her alone! Yeah, we're not doing anything to you. Oh, but it's just so fun. You make it too easy looking like that. Did you get dressed in the dark or something? Back off, Ashley. She actually has to work for what she has. Something you'd know nothing about. Oh, is that what it is? A hard-working fashion statement? It's more like a disaster statement. Yeah, a poor disaster. Seriously, Ashley, back off. Really? Mackenzie, even for you, this is a new low. I thought you had some pride left, but I guess not. <laughs> Now she's poor and a crybaby. Ew, double whammy. I can't take this anymore. Mackenzie, wait. Aw, did we hurt the poor girl's feelings? Guess the truth hurts. Early, don't listen to them. They're not worth it. Moments later. Early, are you in here? Just leave me alone, Sky. I don't want anyone to see me like this. Like what, girly? Like a strong, beautiful girl who's working hard for a family? Don't let those mean girls get to you. The right, Sky. I look like a mess. I can't afford nice things like those girls. Heck, my mom and I can barely afford dinner right now. I am just tired of it. Early, you're ten times the person they are. They have nothing better to do than pick on someone as genuine and kind as you are. It says more about them than it does about you. But why me, Sky? Why do I always have to be the target? Because people like Ashley and Ayla feel threatened by someone who has real strength and character, and you have both in spades. I just feel so alone sometimes. You're not alone. I'm here, and I always will be. Remember, it's not what you have or how you look that defines you. It's your heart, and yours is pure gold. Thanks, guy. I don't know what I would do without you. Probably have a lot less drama to deal with, but seriously, let's wipe away those tears and show them that they can't bring down Mackenzie the Magnificent. I don't feel very magnificent. But you are, to me. Thanks, guy, for everything. Anytime, girly. That's what friends are for. Now, let's show them your smile. It's about a million times brighter than any of their designer outfits. <laughs> Later that same evening. Mom, I'm home. Oh my goodness, you are back so soon. Uh, what time is it? Mom, what's wrong? You look worried. Nothing. It's nothing, Mackenzie. Uh, why are you trying to hide all those papers? What's going on? Mackenzie, please, it's nothing for you to worry about. Just grown-up stuff. Well, just let me see what it is. No, no. An eviction notice? Mom, are we gonna be homeless? No, 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 no. Don't worry about that. We're not gonna be homeless. I'll figure something out. I always do. But how can I not worry? This is our home. I said I'll handle it, Mackenzie. Now, please, I just need some space to think. How can you just stand there and tell me not to worry? This is serious. I know it's serious, but you can't solve anything. Now, go to your room. I just need to think. Ugh, fine. Moments later. I can't believe she won't even let me help. Like, what am I supposed to do? Just sit around as we lose everything? Why won't she trust me? I'm not a child anymore. I need to do something, anything to help. Mackenzie? Hi, Mom. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have snapped at you. Things are just... They're really tough right now, and I'm scared. I'm scared too, Mom. I hate seeing you like this. And I hate that I can't do 
anything to fix it. You being here, being strong for both of us, that's more than I could ever ask for. You're doing more than you know. It's not enough. We're about to lose our house. Is there anything else that we can do? I'm trying, baby. I really am. But sometimes things are just out of our hands. Right now, I need you to be strong, and that means getting some rest. How can I sleep when our world is falling apart? Because you need strength for both of us. We'll face this together, I promise. Now, please, try and get some sleep. All right, fine. Good night, honey. The next day. Huh? What? Who the heck is that? Oh, oh my gosh. What time is it? 6 a.m.? Who could be here at 6 a.m.? Please, I better go check. Please, sir, we just need a little bit more time. We're doing everything we can to sort this out. I'm sorry, ma'am, but time is something you no longer have. The court's decision is final, and you were given ample notice. Mom? What's going on? Who is this? Mackenzie, please, go back in your room. No, I want to know what's happening. Are we being kicked out? I'm afraid so, young lady. If you could start gathering your belongings, we need to clear the premises today. Today? But that's impossible. We have nowhere to go. Mackenzie, honey, it's okay. We'll figure something out. I truly am sorry, but the law is the law. I'll give you a few hours to pack up. It can't be happening. There has to be something that we can do. There's gotta be some way to stop this. Honey, arguing won't change anything. Let's just do as he says and pack up our things. We'll find a solution, I promise. How can you be so calm? Our lives are being turned upside down. Because losing my temper won't help us. We need to stay strong and face this together as a family. Now, come on. Let's go and pack. Three hours later. I can't believe this is happening. All of our stuff just crammed into this car. What are we supposed to do now? We're going to be okay, Mackenzie. First, we'll go to the motel down the road. It's not much, but it'll give us a roof over our heads tonight. A motel? Is this what our lives have come to? How did this get so bad? Well, sometimes life throws challenges our way, but we're together and that's all that matters. We'll figure this out one step at a time. What about tomorrow and the day after? I mean, we can't live in a motel forever. We won't have to. I'll start calling around first thing in the morning. Look for a more permanent solution. Maybe there's a better job opening or a cheaper rental we don't know about. I should get another job too. I want to help. We can pool our resources and get back on our feet faster. I appreciate that, honey, but you can't be working three jobs and still going to school. Fine, then I'll drop out. Oh, you will do no such thing. But, but nothing. Let's just get to the motel and I will figure everything out from there. But mom... I'm scared. I am too, sweetheart, but we're a team, and we'll get through this, just like we always do, together. A few moments later. Well, uh, this looks cozy. It's just for one night, honey. We'll figure things out tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully. Wait here, and I'll go check us in. Hi there, we would like a room for one night, please. Sure thing, that will be $20. Okay, uh, here's my credit card. I'm sorry, ma'am, but your card has been declined. Oh, well, there must be some mistake. Could you please just try again? Uh, still nothing going through. Do you have another form of payment? Um, okay, well, let's try this debit card. Sorry, we only take credit cards or cash. Mom, is everything okay? Yes, yes, sweetie. So... There's a bank across the street. I'll just go there and withdraw some cash. Whatever. Come on, honey, quickly. Let's just run to the bank. A few moments later. Hello there. We would like to withdraw $20 from our account, please. Certainly. I just need to check your account details. Could I have your card, please? Yes, here you go. Just one moment while I pull up your account. Great, thanks. Oh. Oh? That doesn't sound good. I'm sorry. It seems there's an issue. Your account balance is, well, negative. Negative? What? Negative $150 to be exact. But how? There should at least be a little bit left. I'm afraid not. It appears there have been several outstanding charges and fees that have brought your balance below zero. This can't be happening. Is there absolutely nothing you can do? We just need $20 for a night at the motel across the street. I truly wish I could help, but I can't withdraw money from an overdrawn account. Maybe there's another way that you could come up with the funds. Mom, what are we going to do? We have nowhere to stay tonight. I don't know, Mackenzie. I don't know. This is the last thing that we needed. We talked to someone else. I mean, maybe there's a mistake or something. I assure you, we double-checked. There's nothing more we can do from our end. Thank you for your time, sir. Come on, Mackenzie. We need to think of something else. Oh, and remember, make sure to pay off your debt soon, or you'll just create more debt. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, thanks. Moments later. So, what do we do now? Well, it looks like it's a good thing I kept those old camping tents, because we're gonna have to need them tonight. What? So we're gonna sleep outside? Well, we don't have much of a choice, sweetheart. But, Mom, what about our safety? It's not like we can afford a site at a campground. So we have to sleep on the edge of town? We'll stay close to the car and I'll make sure that we're safe. I won't let anything happen to you. I can't believe this is happening to us. Just yesterday, we had a roof over our heads and now... I know, honey. I know. But we've been through tough times before. We'll get through this too, together. I just feel so helpless. Like, there's nothing I can do to make things better. You're doing more than you know just by being here.
here with me. Staying strong is all we can do right now. I just wish there was a way to fix all of this insanity. It just doesn't seem fair. Life isn't always fair, Mackenzie, but it's how we face these challenges that define us. We're survivors. You and I. Okay, Mom. If you think that's what we need to do, then I'm with you. Now, come on. Let's go find a spot before it's dark. Three hours later. Well, honey, it's not the Hilton, but it'll do for tonight. It's kind of spooky out here, isn't it? All these sounds and shadows. It's just nature, sweetheart. Nothing to be afraid of. We're together, and that's all that matters. I just wish we weren't in this situation. Camping should be fun, not like this. I know, honey, but sometimes life throws us into adventures we didn't plan for. We'll make a story out of it someday. I guess we could look at it as an unexpected adventure then. Exactly. And remember, no matter how dark it gets, the sun always rises. We'll find our way out of this. You really believe that, Mom? that things will get better? I have to believe it, honey. For both of us. We've overcome challenges before and we can do it again. Thanks, Mom. I'm not sure what I would do without you. Get some rest right now. We have a big day ahead of us tomorrow. We'll figure out our next steps. Okay, good night, Mom. Let's hope tomorrow brings us some good news. Oh, is that... Is anyone there? Ah, Mom! Bam! Oh my God, how are you such a heavy sleeper? Okay, that's it. I need to make sure that whatever that is is not coming over here. Okay, it's probably just the wind. Yeah, that's it. It's just the wind. <coughs> okay, that is not just the wind. Definitely not just the wind. Okay, stay calm. Maybe it's just like a raccoon or something. Hello? If there's someone out there, it's not funny. That's it. I'm gonna find out what you are. No more being scared. <coughs> Seriously? A bunny? Of course it was just a bunny. Ugh, I can't believe I got all worked up over nothing. Okay, you know what? Maybe this is just a sign. If I can face this, then I can face anything. Even if it is just like a little bunny rabbit. Tomorrow, I'll be braver. The next day. Morning, honey. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you so early. It's okay. Morning, Mom. What's going on? Well, I have a double shift today at work, and I've spoken with Sky's mom, and she said that you could spend the day over at their place. She's already expecting you. Oh, that's really kind of her. It'll be nice hanging out with Sky and take my mind off of things for a little bit. I thought you might like that. But, Mom, are you sure you're gonna be okay with a double shift? I mean, you know your back starts acting up when you stand on your feet for too long. I'll be fine, sweetheart. It's you I worry about. Just promise me you'll try and have a good day, okay? I promise, Mom, but you take care too, okay? Don't overwork yourself. I won't, and Mackenzie? Yeah, Mom? I'm proud of you, you know. For how you're handling all this, it's not easy, but we're getting through this together. Thanks, Mom. That means a lot to me. Now, come on. Let's get up, get ready, and let's hit the road. Moments later. Okay, bye, Mom. Have a good day. Bye, sweetheart. Have fun. Bye. I'm here. Carly, oh my goodness. I have been so worried about you. Why didn't you call me? Sky, it's just been a lot, you know? I mean, everything's happening so fast. Well, I know, but that's when you should call me. We're besties. We're supposed to go through things together. No matter what. I know. I'm sorry. I just felt embarrassed. Our house, the eviction, camping out. I didn't want you to see me like that. Girly, embarrassed? None of this is your fault. And there's nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, you're dealing with a tough situation. And you're doing it with so much strength. Thanks, guy. I just hate feeling like I'm some burden or a pity case, you know? You could never be a burden. And it's okay to lean on your friends when times get tough. That's what I'm here for. I guess you're right. It's just hard to admit when you need help. Well, well, you're here now, and that's what matters. We'll get through this together like we always do. I appreciate it, Sky. I don't know what I'll do without you. And you will never have to find out. Now, come on. Let's go raid the kitchen or something. I'm sure we can find some ice cream to make this day a little brighter. <laughs> that sounds perfect. One hour later. Hey, girly. You know what would be fun? What? Hitting up the arcade. There's this new game that I've been to try. It does sound fun, but you know I can't, Sky. I can't afford to be spending money on games right now. I know, girly, but it's my treat. I want us to have a good day together. Forget about all the tough stuff for a while. Sky, I appreciate it, but I don't want you paying for me. It just doesn't feel right. Carly, come on. Let me do this for you. We both need a break, and what's the point of having a little extra if I can't share with my bestie? It's just, I hate feeling like charity, Sky. This isn't charity. It's what friends do. They support each other, and when you're back on your feet, you can treat me. Deal? I, okay, deal, but only because you're not gonna let this go, are you? Not a chance. Now, let's go beat some high scores and have a blast, okay? Okay, Sky. Thanks. One hour later. Hey, Curly, isn't that Josh in there? Let's go say hi. Oh, 
Sky, I can't. Not like this. You can't see me, you know, after everything that's happened. Kenzie, you're still you no matter what happens. Plus, Josh is our friend. He won't care about all that stuff. It's easy for you to say. You haven't lost everything. I just, I feel so downgraded. I mean, what if he treats me differently? Josh isn't like that, and you know it. He's one of the good guys. Come on, don't let these circumstances strip you of your confidence. I just really don't want his pity, Sky, or anyone else's for that matter. And you won't get it. We're just gonna say hi and have some fun. Remember, you promised me arcade time. Oh, hey, Mackenzie. Sky, what are you guys doing here? Come on, come on in. See, he's happy to see us. Let's not make it awkward by just standing out here. Okay, okay, let's go. Just be my wingman, okay? Always, girly. Moments later. Oh, Kenzie, you totally crushed it. I had no idea you were such a gaming pro. Thanks, Josh. It's just a good distraction, I guess. Hey, I was skateboarding past your house yesterday, and it looked, well, completely demolished. Is your mom doing some major renovations or something? Uh-oh. Renovations? Oh, no. It's not like that. Oh, uh, then what happened? It seemed pretty serious. Just leave it alone, Josh. Wait, what? We... We lost the house, Josh. There's no renovations. We got evicted, and now it's gone. Oh, uh... Well, say something. Mackenzie, I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. I... I can't do this. I need to go. Mackenzie, wait. I, I didn't mean to. Girly, wait up. Ugh. It's gonna be okay, girly. No, it won't. Everyone keeps telling me it's gonna be okay, but it won't. I'm poor, Sky. I'm even less than poor, if that's even a thing. Sorry, girly. I just wish there was more I could do. Me too. I'm sorry. This isn't your fault. I shouldn't be putting all my baggage on you. Don't worry about me, girly. I know it hurts, but I know that you'll get past this. Now, come on. Let's just go back home and I'll make all your favorite snacks. You always know how to cheer me up, girly. Three hours later. Hey, girls. Oh, hey, mom. Hi, Mrs. McGinty's mom, ma'am. How was work? Oh, well, it was work, but is your mom home? Nah, she just left, but she said to tell you that McKenzie is welcome here anytime. Aw, that's sweet. Thank you. Of course. Mackenzie, I got the strangest call at work today. Is someone asking for Princess Mackenzie? Do you know anything about this? Princess Mackenzie? No, Mom, that doesn't make any sense. Who was it? I don't know, honey. He didn't give his name. Just insisted on talking to you directly. Said it was very important. That is bizarre. Maybe you've got, like, a secret admirer, Mackenzie. Not funny, Sky. It's probably just a prank caller or someone trying to scam us. Well, he left the number for you to call him back. Said it was urgent. I thought it might be best if you check it out, just to be safe. I guess I could call, but what am I supposed to say? Hi, it's Princess Mackenzie returning your call. <laughs> just be yourself, sweetie. If it's something important, we need to find out what it is. And if it's a joke or a scam, we'll just hang up. All right, I'll call. But if this is some weird prank, I am not going to be happy. Moments later. Hello? This is Mackenzie. I received a message to call this number. Oh. Oh, Princess Mackenzie, thank you for returning my call. I have some significant news for you. I'm sorry, Princess Mackenzie, there seems to be some confusion here. I'm just a regular person. What on earth is this? Is this some kind of joke? I have no idea, but it sounds incredibly serious. No confusion, I assure you. You are, in fact, the heir to a distant royal lineage. How is that even possible? I mean, my family's always been here in Brookhaven. There's no royalty in our past. Our records are quite clear. And after extensive research, we've determined you are the rightful princess of our city. This is uh, unbelievable. I I don't know what to say. Honey, ask him for proof. We can't just believe everything that we hear. Our records indicate otherwise. There was an agreement many years ago for your safety to keep your true heritage a secret. Now that you are of age, it's time for you to know the truth and consider your rightful place. Could you provide some evidence for this? I mean, this is a lot to take in without any proof. Certainly. Certainly, Princess, we have documents and other evidence which we can present to you. Early, this could be an amazing opportunity. Could you imagine if this is true? I, uh, I'll need to see evidence first. And I would like to discuss this with my mom. Can we arrange a meeting? Of course, Princess Mackenzie. We will send you a driver right away. Uh, okay, thanks. What the heck just happened? I guess, uh, I guess we're gonna figure out if I'm a princess. I think I'm gonna faint. <sighs> a few moments later. Good evening, ma'am. Are you Mackenzie? Yeah, that's me. Can I help you? Hello, princess. I am here on behalf of the estate. I have been instructed to escort you to your new residence immediately. Wait, you mean she's really going now? Like, right this second? 
But why only me? What about my mom and Sky? My apologies, Miss McKenzie, but my instructions were quite specific. You are the one we were sent to retrieve. Your transition begins immediately. McKenzie, honey, what's going on? Are, are you really going with him? I guess I'll have to figure out what this is all about, but I just don't understand why it's only me. Your questions will be answered in due time, Miss. Please, we must make haste. I have to go, but I promise I'll call as soon as I can. Be careful, girly. We'll be right here waiting for you, honey. Just be safe, okay? I will. I promise. One hour later. We have arrived. Princess Mackenzie, welcome to your family's estate. This is unbelievable. It's something out of a storybook. Indeed. It has been the pride of your family for many generations. Shall we see? Yes, of course. It's just a lot to take in all at once. I understand this is quite overwhelming, but please know that everyone here is eager to make you feel welcome and at home. Thanks. I just wish my mom and Sky could see this. In due time, Princess Mackenzie, your new life is just beginning and there will be opportunities for reunions. For now, let us introduce you to your new surroundings. Lead the way then. I suppose this is where I start learning how to become a princess? Precisely, but there is much to learn and we are here to guide you. You will meet your tutors, the household staff, and eventually your subjects. My subjects? That sounds so formal. Are they gonna expect me to know how to, I don't know, rule? In time, you will understand all that is required of you. For now, let's just focus on settling you in. Welcome home, Princess Mackenzie. Wow, thank you. This place is incredible. I mean, how am I ever gonna learn my way around here? Do not worry. You will have all the time you need to acclimate. Everyone here is most eager to assist you. I still can't believe this. Here, come this way. I will show you to your chambers. Amazing. Oh, and feel free to call your mother. We just sent out another driver to pick her up and take her to her new house in Brookhaven. Wait, seriously? Of course, Princess Mackenzie. You have a great deal of money now. I thought I would take the initiative and get her a new place. Wow, thank you. Don't thank me. It's all your money, Princess. This is insane. Oh, and here. This will be your personal quarters. We've prepared them in anticipation of your arrival. Wait, this is for me? It's like some place out of a dream. It is very real, Princess Mackenzie. I don't know what to say. It's more than I've ever imagined. If you need anything at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Tonight, rest and let the reality of your new life settle in. Thank you. I guess I have a lot to learn about being a princess. Indeed, but I am confident that you will rise to the occasion. Good night, Princess Mackenzie. Good night. A few moments later. It's all true, Mom. I'm a real princess. I know, sweetie. At first, I couldn't believe it, but I just got off the phone with the lawyers and they confirmed everything. It's been a dream already, Mom. You won't believe this place. It's like stepping into a fairy tale. I bet. I'm excited to see it one day. It'll be soon. Don't worry. I just have to complete my training first. But in the meantime, the butler said that a driver will be at your place soon to pick you up. But if I can't go to the castle with you, why am I getting picked up? The driver's gonna take you to your brand new home. We're not poor anymore, Mom. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Of course. I mean, what am I supposed to do with all of this money if I can't spend it on the people that I love? Oh, honey, I am so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. I'm proud of you, too. And thank you for working so hard for so many years. You don't have to worry anymore. You are the best daughter anyone could ever ask for, even before all the money. And I know you are gonna crush the princess training tomorrow, sweetie. Thanks again, but speaking of which, I should probably head to bed. Training starts early tomorrow morning. Of course, hon. Have a good sleep. Talk soon. Good night, Mom. The next day. Princess Mackenzie, are you away? Yes, come in. Good morning, Princess Mackenzie. I trust you had a restful night? Good morning? Yes, thank you. It's been so overwhelming, though. Understandably so, but you will get used to it all. Today, we will begin your princess training. Your first lesson will take place at breakfast. What kind of training happens at breakfast? You will learn the proper etiquette for dining, how to converse with dignitaries, and the art of being a gracious host, among other things. Oh, wow. Who knew you could learn so much over breakfast? 
Yes. Indeed. Well, I will let you finish getting ready and then please meet me at the dining hall. Sweet. Actually, let's start with a small lesson now. Princesses don't say sweet. Oh, right. Sorry. I mean, I'll be down shortly. Very good. Jeez, who knew becoming a princess would be learning how to walk on eggshells? You said something, princess? Oh, nothing. I just said I'll be right down. Very well, then. Moments later. Please take your seat at the head of the table. As a princess, you will often be required to lead, and it begins with knowing how to conduct oneself at the table. I see. And who will I be dining with? Today, it will just be me. We'll simulate various scenarios you might encounter. Okay, sounds great. Remember, princess, the key is to remain poised and confident even if you are unsure. You will learn in time. I'll do my best. This is all just a lot to remember. You will not be alone on this journey. We're all here to guide and support you. A few moments later. You are doing very well, princess. The first lesson is almost done. So let me get this straight. I have to remember which fork to use for each course and how to address everyone and all of that while maintaining perfect posture? Precisely, Princess Mackenzie. Every detail matters. Your actions and manners reflect not only on you, but on your entire family lineage. No pressure, right? I mean, next time you're gonna be telling me there's a right way to breathe. Humor is a fine trait, Princess, but yes, there are more appropriate ways to conduct oneself, even in breathing. However, for now, let's focus on your table manners. Okay, so if I accidentally use the dessert fork for the salad, is that considered to be a royal failure? In some circles, yes. But it's all part of the learning process. You'll soon find these actions to become second nature. It's just a little hard when not even a week ago I was eating on the streets. But now you are here eating in the palace. Don't you worry. You will get used to all of this. I sure hope so. I don't want to disappoint anyone. You could never. Now, why don't you go change into your ballroom gown. A royal dance teacher will be here shortly to give you your lesson. Dance lessons? You do know I'm pretty much the reigning champion of dance-offs in my neighborhood, right? I have no doubt about your skills. However, the dancing you'll learn today is a tad different from neighborhood dance-offs. Well, in that case, I guess it's time to swap my high tops for high heels then. Indeed. The instructor will be in the ballroom when you are ready. Moments later. Wow, this dress makes me feel like I'm part of a fairy tale. I wonder who my instructor is gonna be. Good day, Princess Mackenzie. I am here to teach you the art of ballroom dancing. Shall we begin with the basic steps? Lead the way, and you should know I'm a fast learner, especially when I have such a dedicated teacher. I'm pleased to hear that. Now remember, it's all about grace and poise. Is it always this serious? Are you allowed to smile when you dance? Because I think I'm gonna find it quite hard to focus with you all being stern and professional. Smile is always welcome, Princess. It enhances the dance, but we must not forget the steps. One, two, three, one, two, three. Got it, one, two, three, and a dazzling smile. I think I'm starting to like this royal dancing business, especially the company. You're doing very well, princess, and who knows, by the end of these lessons, you might not only master the dance, but also teach me a thing or two about enjoying it. One hour later. So one hour later, and I haven't stepped on your toes once. I would call that a success. What's your secret? Patience of a saint or just good reflexes? Perhaps a bit of both. Princess Mackenzie, you've made remarkable progress. Thanks. And now that we're done dancing, what are you doing later? Any chance you want to give me a tour of the town? That's very kind of you, but I'm afraid I must decline. It's not about what I want. It's about what's proper. Oh, come on. It would just be about two people enjoying the evening. I mean, nothing improper about that, right? You're very persuasive, princess. And it's not that I don't find your company appealing, but my position here, well, I'm not fit to socialize with royalty. Is that the only thing stopping you? Because to me, you're more than fit. You're, like, exceptional. Your words are flattering, princess, but I must adhere to the boundaries of my role. Please excuse me. Oh, man, what the heck? Princess Mackenzie, if I may have a moment of your time. Of course, yeah, what's up? I couldn't help but overhear your conversation with the dance instructor. I feel it's my duty to remind 
you of your obligations. You are expected to marry someone of royal lineage, making the instructor unsuitable. Unsuitable? Based off of what? Just because he's not royalty doesn't mean he's not a good person. Why can't I decide who's right for me? It's not a matter of personal preference, princess. It's about tradition, duty, and the expectations of your new role. Your union must strengthen alliances and honor the lineage. That's ridiculous. So I'm just supposed to marry someone I don't love because it's expected of me? That is not the life that I want. I understand your frustration, princess, but these are long-standing traditions that help maintain peace and stability. It's not merely about your individual happiness. Oh, well, maybe those traditions need to change. I refuse to be trapped by some outdated rule. I should have a say in my own future. Now, I'm going up to my room. Oh, why must my job be so hard? A few moments later. Uh, um, Princess Mackenzie, may I come in? Yes, come in. I understand that today has been challenging for you. Adapting to royal life is not without its trials, yet it comes with its own set of rewards. Well, I just want to be happy and have someone in my life. Is that too hard to ask for? Certainly not, Princess, but with great power comes great responsibility. Your marriage isn't just about companionship. It's a pivotal decision that affects the entire kingdom. I know, I know. It's just hard to accept that my personal happiness is secondary to my duties. I emphasize with your feelings, yet remember the alliances forged through marriage can bring prosperity and peace to our people. Tomorrow, I've arranged for you to meet some eligible royal bachelors. It's an opportunity to see the positive aspects of your role. I suppose meeting them won't hurt, but I'm not making any promises. Of course, princess. No one expects you to make an immediate decision. It's about getting acquainted, understanding your options. Thanks for understanding. I'll meet them tomorrow for the kingdom's sake. But in the end, I hope that my heart has a voice in this decision. That is all we can ask for, princess. Your well-being is paramount to all of us. Rest well. Tomorrow is an important day. Thank you. Moments later. Sky, you won't believe what's been going on. Huh? What happened? Spill! Well, I met this really cute guy today. He was my dance instructor. No way, girly! That's great! You should ask him out! Oh, no, that's just it. I can't. I found out that I'm expected to, well, marry royalty. And he is certainly not that. I'm sorry, what? Marry royalty? Like in fairy tales? Yes, exactly like in fairy tales. Except it's not as dreamy as it sounds. Tomorrow they're bringing in these royal bachelors for me to meet. Royal bachelors coming to see you. Are you serious? This is huge. I guess it is, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm not even sure that I'm ready to get married. Especially not just for duty. I get that, but wow, girly, this could be a big deal for you and for the kingdom, right? I mean, imagine the possibilities. I know, Sky. It's just a lot to take in. I mean, meeting them doesn't mean I'm getting married right away. But yes, it is a step in that direction. I'm here for you, girly. Whatever you need, just say the word. And hey, who knows? One of them might just sweep you off your feet. Thanks, Sky. I really hope so. But no matter what, I want to make a choice that's true to me. You will. Don't worry. But I gotta go. My mom's making tacos for dinner. And they should be ready soon. Yeah, I should be called down any time now for dinner, too. Uh, talk soon? Yeah, later, girly. Moments later. Wow, this is all just so surreal. But here I am, dining alone in this massive dining hall. What's the point of all this luxury if I can't share it with the people that I love? I miss my mom, Sky, even the chaos of our old life. I mean, at least we were together. Now I have all this stuff, but it just feels so hollow without them. Tomorrow, I have to meet all of these royal bachelors. I just hope there's someone I can truly connect with. Someone who understands me, not just Princess Mackenzie, but the real me. I mean, I know I have to marry a royalty, but but I can't just settle. It has to be someone I respect. Someone I might actually grow to love. I mean, is that all too much to hope for? No, you know what? It's not. I deserve to be happy too. I'll do my duty, but I will not compromise my heart. Here's to tomorrow. May it bring some hope. One hour later. Princess! Yes, come on in! Apologies for the late disturbance, Princess Mackenzie, but you have a visitor. They insisted that it's urgent and they must speak to you immediately. A visitor? At this hour? Who could it possibly be? They didn't provide a name, but they seem to know you very well. They emphasized the necessity of speaking with you tonight. Did they say what it was about? Is everything okay? They didn't disclose the details, merely requested your presence. I understand if you wish to decline, given the hour, 
but they seem quite adamant. No, it's okay. If they say that it's urgent, I should see what they want. Give me just a moment to get dressed. Very well, princess. I'll inform them that you will be down shortly. And don't worry, I'll be nearby should anything be needed. Okay, thank you. Jeez, who could this be? What could be so important that it couldn't wait till the morning? Well, there's only one way to find out. A few moments later. Wait. Josh, what are you doing here? Mackenzie! What are you doing? I came as soon as I heard from Skye. You have to cancel tomorrow. You can't go through with meeting those royal bachelors. What? What do you mean? Why? I mean, you shouldn't marry any of them. I can't just stand by and let it happen. I thought maybe one day that we would end up together. But now I need to fight for you, and that's what I'm here to do. Josh, this is all of a sudden. I, I care for you, and you know that. But I have responsibilities now. I can't just run away. But don't you see? This is your life we're talking about. You should be with someone who loves you, not some stranger picked out just because of his title. It's not that simple, Josh. I have a duty to the kingdom, to my family. It's not just about what I want. Isn't it, though? Shouldn't it be about your happiness, too? Mackenzie, please, I, I, I love you. Run away with me. I'm sorry, Josh. Really, I am, but I can't. The kingdom needs me. I have to do what's expected. It's bigger than us. I had to try to tell you how I feel, at least. I, I'll always care about you, Mackenzie. Bye forever. <laughs> Why does this have to be so hard? I just want to follow my heart, but I can't. Not with all of these expectations weighing on me. I thought being a princess would be like a dream, but it's not. It's more like a gilded cage. It's loneliness, duty, always putting the kingdom first. But if the kingdom needs me to be strong, then that's what I'll have to do. I can't falter now, not when so much depends on me. For my family, for the people who believe in me, I have to stand tall. I'll face tomorrow with courage. For the kingdom, for everyone counting on me. I can do this. The next day. Princess Mackenzie, have any of these distinguished gentlemen caught your favor? Uh, no. I can't say that they have. They're all very noble, but I don't feel very connected with them. Oh, very well then. Gentlemen, thank you for your time today. Please allow us a moment. <sighs> I'm really sorry. Don't be princess. Maybe I'm just not cut out for this. Hold everything! Wait! George? What is the meaning of all this? This is Sydney, and she claims that the throne is rightfully hers, not Mackenzie's. What? But that's impossible. Who are you? I'm sorry to barge in like this, Mackenzie. I didn't want to cause a scene, but it's true. I'm your cousin, Sydney, and since I'm older, the throne should technically be mine. This is a serious accusation. We can't simply take your word for it. If what you say is true, then we must verify it through the proper legal channels. But how? how how did we not know each other, and why come forward? Well, it took us some time to piece everything together. Sydney only recently learned about her lineage and her potential claim. Rest assured, Princess Mackenzie, we will investigate this matter thoroughly. The truth will come out in court. I don't understand how all of this happened, but I believe in fairness. If you are truly who they say that you are, then we should let the law decide. Several days later. After reviewing all the evidence presented and considering the laws of success, it is clear that Sydney, being the older blood relative, is the rightful heir to the throne. The court recognizes her as the legitimate successor. Yes! Woohoo! Finally! I'm a princess! Take that, Mackenzie! Oh, man. Princess Mackenzie, I am truly sorry, but my allegiance must now lie with the rightful heir, Sydney. It has been an honor to serve you. Yeah, thanks, I guess. Oh, Mackenzie, don't look so down. Just think, while you're out frolicking with the common folk, I'll be here burdened with the endless task of attending galas, sampling fine wine, and wearing the most exquisite gowns. How will I ever go? Whatever. Enjoy your loneliness. Oh, I will. You know, maybe this isn't so bad after all. I mean, who really wants to wear a crown every day? It probably gives you like a terrible headache. And let's not even start with those royal shoes. It's like walking on stilts. Well, I guess that's that. Good luck to them. And I guess it's back to budget living for me. Cheers to poverty, where the only thing that I'm reigning over is a marathon of my favorite shows with the real gems in my life. My friends and family. <laughs>